Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back here to my channel, here with Wrench and Mafia. Today I'll be installing these running boards, OEM, got them straight from the dealership. I will be putting the part number in, in the description. Before we get started, if you guys haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like, and please leave a comment. So, like I said, these running boards straight from the dealership, I bought them for about $1,100. Uh, it might range depending on where you buy them. But like I said, these are OEM, straight from the dealership. Uh, I kind of like them. They have like the Rhino liner texture to it. Uh, pretty straightforward installation. Uh, all the hardware, which I already opened up. Here, as you can see, it has basically 12 bolts. It has six on each side and then six on the other. And basically these are half inch or 13. And all you need is basically, I got my little Craftsman tool here set. All you need is, you know, a 3 8 little extension with, with, of course, your 13 or your half. Whatever suits your need. So, like I said, we'll get started on it. Uh, you might need two people to do this job. Uh, it might be a little hard if you uh, do it yourself. But I think what I'm going to do is I do have a jack stand or a jack. Might have to jack it up on this side. And then kind of pull it up this way and then do it uh, solo. So, let's get started. So as we get started, what we want to do is kind of get the right running boards on each side. And then I'll get underneath the vehicle. And I'll show you guys. I believe it has uh, six plugs on each side. So I'm going to get on the other side and I'll show you guys which plugs to uh, remove. So as you can see, I'm underneath here the vehicle and here are the plugs. So I'm assuming these are the plugs that are right parallel to each other. So there's these right there. Then of course the next ones are going to be right here. And the last ones are gonna be back there. So I'm gonna pop these off real quick, verify you could uh, thread in your screws, and then we'll get started. So once I remove those covers, you could see that it is meant to uh, bolt a bolt on there. So I remove all six plugs, uh, just to verify that they're lined up properly. And here's the other. So just to verify, these are the, the plugs that are removed to bolt it on. So like I said, just make sure that you remove all the six plugs on each side. And then from there, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this if you're doing it by yourself. So I am doing this on my own. So of course, if you have another person, it's more helpful. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my jack, jack this up in the center, kind of balance it out. And then I'm gonna start putting maybe a bolt on this side. And then I put the other bolt on that side. But I'm not gonna tie them all the way till I know it's, you know, kind of put all of them, snug them. And then from there, I'll tighten them up. So I'll show you what's the next step. So as you can see here, I used my jack to kind of even it out or level it out. So I kind of snug all the bolts, pretty straightforward. And then uh, from now that I kind of tighten everything up by hand, I'll go in there with my socket and uh, my ratchet and tighten those up. One thing I would highly recommend on this would be possibly putting some blue Loctite on the bolts, especially, you know, over time, you don't want those bolts to become loose. So I'll show you guys, once I tighten them up, I'll remove the jack and I'll show you guys how it looks from this perspective. So as you can see here, the final product, nice clean look, OEM, I like it. Uh, one thing I do suggest is that you could buy some Loctite for the bolts. Uh, another thing I'm thinking about, be very helpful to pop off those clips, maybe go to uh, your local auto parts store and buy a tool to pop off those clips. It could be a little bit stubborn, but besides this, this job is a pretty straightforward job. Uh, I would recommend it be two people due to the nature that you have to try to balance this and put it back together. But it is possible to do it by yourself. I know I couldn't record doing it, but it was easy. I think this job would take you about 30 to uh, 30 minutes to an hour. Like I said, I'll make a final video how it looks overall, but I'm very satisfied with the look. Like I'll make a review video maybe six to a year from now to see how it held up. I do like the final finish. It's kind of like the Rhino liner that or the stuff they spray in your bed. But thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. And, and leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.